Hi there. <clears throat> I wanted to add a couple of more details <clears throat> about my earlier video where I was contrasting needs once, uh, the story about me that I want to have, uh, then in contrast, the reality of life as it is. Um, so just let's take a look at uh, an actual example of what I'm talking about here. Say um, I feel a certain insecurity that, uh, um, that I want to have more control about life. And control means uh, knowing outcomes before they happen, um, having the ability to uh, uh, control situations uh, in ways that <clears throat> I, w I would prefer. And, <clears throat> and then even <clears throat> controlling myself in being the person that I feel that I need to be because, you know, if I, if I don't do that, then I could actually be the person I actually am, which is something I don't want. So do you see the point? When we are driven by some want or need, control, security, love, enlightenment, God forbid, we are basically saying my real issue is as I am, I'm unacceptable. As this life is, it's unacceptable. We are living the life of rejection. Rejection of self and rejection of other and rejection of life in general. That's what my story is all about. When my story is connected to need and want. That's what seeking is all about. Seeking is about a form of self-medication dealing with some internal wound. It's an original impetus, might be a healthy one. It might be intellectual curiosity. It might be wanting to feel better. Um, that's all natural. We're all wired to be that way. But as it becomes part of an identity of who we are, rather than simply an interest, that's when it becomes a problem. So when I say living this need-based my life, how I need it to be, how I want it to be, is a lie because that life can never be. It will always be undermined by reality and life in general. It's merely an idea, a concept. So no matter how much you read, no matter how much you meditate, no matter how much you do this or that, life will always come in with a resounding hammer and crush that. Life cannot be controlled. You don't have a life. You only think you have a life. And you're not a thought. You must be clear on that. You are not a thought. You don't know what you are. And you will never know what you are. But you're sure that you're not a thought. When you say, I need to have this life of control or awakening or enlightenment or love, blah, blah, blah you are assigning a layer onto life completely unrelated to life. You're living a false identity. You are running from an inner affliction. So it's not easy to give up these ideas. It's not easy to look at these identities. But it's something that ultimately, before you die, you may want to do. Anyway, if you have any questions, I urge you to contact me, and maybe we can uh, work it out. Until then, uh, bye.